My name is David. I'm a pastor for Creative Arts. We were using WhatsApp and we switched to using Zoom meetings. For more reviews like this, click below. Both of these products have helped us with the pandemic, giving us an opportunity to connect with folks and see them face to face when we couldn't actually be face to face. Uh, both of them were ways to be connected and they're pretty easy to use and they're available on smartphones and desktops and it was, it was a way to stay connected. Zoom meetings is best for having large groups of moderated discussion and interaction. Uh, it was a great tool to use for some of our home groups that meet uh, throughout the community because some people could meet in the room physically and others could meet via Zoom meetings and they felt like they were a part of the action. Uh, it gave an opportunity for uh, things to be a little bit more controlled as well with having questions and answers and the hand raising feature. All those things are built into the Zoom meetings. WhatsApp has been best for connecting with people outside of the United States, actually. A lot of our folks who are missionaries or people that we're connected to that don't live here in the States primarily use WhatsApp. So it was an easy way for us to use something they were already familiar with uh, to stay connected. So when we would have meetings that were international, WhatsApp was a little bit easier for those folks to onboard with us as opposed to using Zoom meetings, which have been more locally. Both products were pretty easy to use to start up with. Uh, WhatsApp may be slightly easier because its functionality is optimized for a smart device. So if I'm more used to using my phone, it was easier to get onboarded with WhatsApp. But it was still easy to use Zoom meetings. Um, the interface is very simple and very intuitive. And if you wanted to get into the, the weeds, into the details, you could, but you don't have to for either program. Both of them are optimized for uh, mobile device use, and smart device use. Uh, to make it easy on the user. When you're looking for this kind of software, you've got to consider who's using it. So if you have folks who are coming from all different kinds of places, particularly international and domestic, then you might want to consider something like WhatsApp. If you have folks who are more used to interacting in office environments or have used other Zoom meeting products, then Zoom could be a way to go. So knowing what they're using and what they're used to using and what devices they might be on. Uh, again, WhatsApp is really optimized for smart devices. Although Zoom Meetings is pretty optimized for smart devices, it also works really well on a desktop or a laptop. So consider where the people are coming from and what, what they already are using, and then what devices they'll be on as well.